Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. Today, we will be taking a look at all of the changes to the latest roadmap update. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members, in particular to my latest channel member, Pappy1775. Thank you so much for the support. It is truly appreciated. So let's kick off with a small update regarding the freight elevators that are still slated for 323. It says, as work progressed, the team recognized that additional feature work is required to implement the summoning of vehicles via your hangar. And this specific mechanic will come at a later date. However, all the other related functionalities of the freight elevators are still on track for 323. So what this likely means is that for Alpha 323, we won't be able to use the kiosk in our hangar to request a vehicle to be delivered. And I think we will still have to use the vehicle spawn kiosks at the garages or at the Shuban outposts with this functionality coming at a later date. The hangar will still be private to you and you can decorate it and customize your ship inside or store cargo wherever you want to your heart's content. You just won't be able to specifically request a vehicle while inside your hangar. So a big shame as I was really looking forward to being able to spawn vehicles inside the hangar and load them into our ships before taking off, but it's certainly not a deal breaker and hopefully they can get that sorted as soon as possible. Now, for the features that have been newly included into the Alpha 323 release column, these are all Arena Commander specific, but let's start with the biggest and best feature, which is Engineering Experimental Mode. Now, if you remember back to CitizenCon this last year, we got to see a gameplay demo from the team working on the engineering or resource network, running through a scenario where players on a Crusader Hercules C2 had to respond to their ship systems failing while a Gladius was shooting at them, with these players on the C2 monitoring the ship's engineering screen, looking for potential malfunctions or components failing, while the chief engineer ordered players to go to specific components and replace them, like the relay nodes, or fix them up using the multi-tool tractor beam to get them functioning again. Now, it was very chaotic, but very cool. And it sounds like a few versions of this scenario will be coming to Arena Commander's experimental mode for players to try. And I'm sure that since the video that we saw at CitizenCon, it will have been polished and tuned. But this is incredible news. And as it states in the feature description, three limited test experimental modes featuring the engineering gameplay showcased at CitizenCon help shape the future of engineering gameplay in Star Citizen by testing and giving feedback to the features and balance showcased in this limited test before it hits the PU. So as it states, firstly, it sounds like there will be three different limited test modes to try this scenario. Likely each one a stark contrast to the other so that they can have a better range of testing. Plus it mentions it's a limited test before it hits the persistent universe. So this could mean a quarter three release for the engineering systems. I really hope that's the case. But personally speaking, I am over the moon that for 323, we will be getting the engineering gameplay in our hands, trying it out and just seeing how it feels as this will really define multi-crew gameplay and multi-crew ships and how and when to use them. So can't wait to get this into our hands and I'm so happy to see it pop up for 323. Now the next Arena Commander update for 323 is that it is getting custom lobbies back or private matches as it was formerly known giving players the option to set up matches for any game mode on any map at any time with our own rules. Now, this is going to make Org Knights and just practicing everything together in the verse to the next level, giving us the control to try very specific scenarios in an environment that isn't affected by the usual Persistent Universe issues. So another amazing update that I cannot wait to sink my teeth into, especially when it comes to getting playing with my Org. Next up, we have Grav Royale, which as you can imagine, this will be using the Gravler vehicles in a weapons hot battle area, or as they put it, embark on high speed mayhem in a thrilling new game mode, engaging in intense vehicular combat across diverse maps, mastering your Gravler vehicles to outmaneuver foes and seize victory in this gravity defying battle arena. So I've barely had time to touch the Gravlev racing that is on the PTU right now, uh, but adding this to the mix will be so much fun and I can't wait to see what it all involves. And then the final feature added to 323 is a new flight map called Miner's Lament, 
which was previously only exclusive to the racing modes and is now available for all flight modes, which will involve dogfighting in a space environment littered with asteroids around Yella's ring. Now, to finish with, in regards to updating the progress tracker, it says work continues on long-term planning, so there is no update this week. Now, that is a big shame, as I was really eager to see what everyone is working on this year, but with so many more devs and teams joining the Persistent Universe teams, it's clearly taking quite a while to get sorted. So here's hoping it can come within the next two weeks or for the next roadmap update, but only time will tell. But there you have it. That was this Fortnite's roadmap update. A great set of new Arena Commander features and a massive win to see the engineering gameplay make its way into testing. I will certainly delve into that and try and figure it all out. Uh, plus, I am very thankful that the freight elevators are not held up by the lack of the ship spawning option as that would have been a massive blow to 323. But with that said, if you do appreciate my videos, please do consider subscribing and helping the channel to grow. Also, come and hang out over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother. You are all more than welcome over there. With 322.1 on the horizon of going live, maybe tonight or tomorrow, I think it's tonight, we will be jumping in and playing more of that on the streams on Friday, on Monday, on Wednesday, doing more of that organic gameplay as well as answering any questions that you might have in chat. So if you are new to the game or just want to hang out and talk all about Star Citizen, follow that link below and you are all more than welcome there. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you don't mind. It does the channel a big favor and tick that notification bell if you'd like to be notified when my videos go live. Again, a massive thank you to my patrons and channel members for making these videos possible. Cannot do it without you guys. So thank you so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.